friends welcome to this video we'll talk about a standard deviation in this video first of all we need to understand the standard deviation is different from mean deviation the first difference is the mean deviation does not include any negative signs it means the standard deviation is an improvement upon the mean deviation it means in a standard deviation we are including the negative values also the second difference is that a standard deviation is different from a mean deviation that standard deviation can only be calculated from mean on the other hand a mean deviation can be calculated with mean median and mode so now coming on to the topic that is standard deviation in this video we'll learn how to calculate a standard deviation with an individual series so this is the individual series given now first step is you have to assume that uh, one value as a mean that is a in reference statistics that is a means assumed mean so before that we'll write the formula for standard deviation that is sigma this is how we denote the standard deviation summation d square upon n minus summation d upon n ka whole square here you have to put one square root so this is the formula of standard deviation while we are dealing with the individual series now the requirement of the formula is very simple you have to calculate the deviations but before that we have to assume some figure that is mean here we can assume anything in between this so we can assume 260 260 is our assumed mean now we have to calculate the deviations here x minus a here d means x minus a so 240 minus a is 20 that is of negative value because 240 minus 260 is minus 20 now 260 minus 260 that is 0 290 minus 260 is 30 245 minus 260 is minus 15 255 minus 260 is minus 5 288 minus 260 is 28 272 minus 260 is 12 that is a positive value 263 minus 260 is 3 277 minus 260 is 17 Then 251 minus 260 is a minus 9. Now you have to obtain the total of this figure. So first we'll add the positive values. There is 30, 30, 28, 12, 3, 17. Then we deduct the negative values. That is minus 20. Minus fifteen, minus five, and last one is minus nine. So D is equals to your forty-two. Now we just have to put these value into the formula. That is summation D square. Here I can write here. A is equals to two sixty, so that I can use this space. Here summation d is square. It means you have to calculate d is square also. So d is square. Twenty into twenty that is four hundred zero. Thirty into thirty is nine hundred. Fifteen into fifteen. That is two to five. Five into five is twenty-five. Twenty-eight into twenty-eight is a seven hundred eighty-four. Twelve into twelve is one forty-four. That is nine. That is two eighty-nine, and nine nine is eighty-one. So summation a d is square is equals to. Summation d square is equals to. You have to obtain the total. 
that is 400 plus 900 plus 225 plus 25 plus 784 plus 144 plus 9 plus 289 plus 81 that is 2857 so now putting the value in the formula summation d square is 2857 divided by n in the individual series n is the total number of value so we have to calculate or we have to count the total number of value 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so here we can write 10 minus summation d square sorry summation d that is 42 upon n means 10 the whole square and then at last you have to put square root above it now we just solve with this equation 285.7 minus 4.2 ka whole square so that is 285.7 minus 17.64 that is 285.7 minus 17.64 is equals to 268.06 so the under root value is 16.37 this is the answer for the standard deviation this is how we calculate the standard deviation it means the answer for this is standard deviation is 16.37 hope you like this video this video is all about individual series when we are calculating standard deviation thank you so much stay tuned please subscribe this channel and share this video to your friends thank you so much have a nice day